What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Okay guys, here it is. Probably one of my most used combos this past season. Yep, the $80 Dobbins Colt 734. Uh, you know, I just finished up editing and uploading my uh, 2021 uh, catch compilation year in review kind of thing. And I realized that a lot of the fish that I caught were on this combo. And I haven't made a single mention of Actually, that's not true. In that spinnerbait clip in that video, I make mention how this is my favorite chatterbait and spinnerbait combo. And that's true. So with the SLX on here, that's a $100 reel. Dobbins Colt, 80 bucks. This is an under $200 combo, and it is one of my most used in my arsenal. And, you know, I don't have cheap gear. You know, I have a Daiwa Zillion, I have a Metanium, I have Corrados, I have Scorpions, I have X-Prides, uh, Daiwa Tatula Elite Rods. Like, I have, I have expensive stuff, and this one holds its own against all of them. So, what makes this rod so special? So, right off the bat, the value. You know, this is a rod that could basically do anything that you ask of it. And if it's going to be your only rod, if you're a budget angler, uh, if you're looking for your second or third combo, just to be able to throw other things, or if you're specifically looking for a moving bait rod, like chatterbaits, spinnerbaits, and swim jigs, which is what I use this rod primarily for, um, you're not gonna go wrong with this. So again, the amazing things about this rod is the value, 80 bucks. That's nothing. You're not gonna find very many solid rods below that price. It's very impressive for 80 bucks. So much so, I haven't felt the need to buy another chatterbait rod, you know? Chatterbaits are something that I throw a ton. And I've started throwing spinnerbaits more too. I've felt confident enough in this rod here um, to have it be, you know, really my only chatterbait combo. Instead of going out and spending 200, 300 bucks on a rod, I've stuck with this. It's lasted me literally all season. It's probably got as much use, if not more use, than any other rod in my boat. So if you guys are in the market for a budget chatterbait, moving bait, uh, spinnerbait combo, you're going to be hard-pressed to find a better combo than this. What makes this rod so beautiful for moving baits is its action. It's rated as a fast, but it's definitely more of a moderate fast. Uh, and that's just the nature of a cheaper rod. You know, it's cheaper materials, which tend to not be as stiff, which is fine for moving baits. There's no reason to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on moving baits, especially when you're just, you know, the weekend angler. So yes, this rod loads up very well and just keeps the fish pinned. Now, one of the downsides, like I was alluding to, is the sensitivity. And, you know, I've never used this rod for bottom contact. You totally could. There's no reason you can't. And if you do, I would recommend that you go with uh, braid because braid is just gonna increase your sensitivity right off the bat. Uh, but you can, you totally can. This is a great beginner budget combo for anything. You can do anything on this rod. But once you start getting nicer gear, I would definitely put this on moving bait duty because it is just fantastic. So what are the negatives of this rod? So weight, it comes in at 5.8 ounces, which is definitely on the heavy side. However, uh, not once while I was fishing this, did I wish it was lighter, if that makes any sense? You know, lighter is never a bad thing. So the weight is not something that really bothered me, although I would always take lighter weight. Um, the balance, Dobbins balances their gear really well, balances right at the locking nut, which is fantastic. You know, that's where you want it to balance. You know, when you're holding this, it just, it feels way lighter than it is. And that's why the weight doesn't really bother me. Another negative, Dobbins is known for their amazing warranties. However, this is the only rod in their lineup that only gets a one year limited warranty. And that's a negative, but I don't really think it's that awful because there are way more expensive rods that you spend a ton more money on that still only have one year warranty. So to spend 80 bucks on a rod that has a one year warranty, it's not awful, it's not terrible. So I guess that's it for negatives, uh, weight, sensitivity, and the one year warranty. But I'd say the value of this rod and how well it throws the moving baits, uh, it's a must have rod, you know? There's no reason not to have this rod. And once you do get it, you're never gonna want to get rid of it because it's just such a great rod to have in the boat. Once you get higher end equipment, you could just put this on backup duty or you could lend it to a friend it's just a fantastic rod. So yeah, I didn't feel the need to do any crazy review today. I just wanted to sit down and talk about this really quick. You know, I normally put music and 
crazy nice camera shots, but uh, figured I'd try a different style. So I guess that's gonna wrap it up for this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your time. If you like the video, please like, comment, uh, and subscribe if you'd like. Plenty more gear reviews coming. I have so many rods to talk about uh, that I'd love to share with you guys. So I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you next time.